Hi everybody, Achurya Mini Lab MK2 uh, was basically given a firmware update recently, which is firmware update version 1.1. In this update, they have improved the control accuracy and the pitch bend is better. And you can configure backlight for these pads and you can manipulate the uh, lights on octave down and octave up buttons. So let's go ahead and uh, upgrade the firmware. But before we do that, let's um, uh, factory reset Minilab MK2. Minilab right now is connected to a U uh, powered USB hub. And I have a couple of other devices, uh, including Archuria BeatStep Pro. So first of all, um, in order to factory reset, you're going to unplug the USB cable from the back of Archuria Minilab. Although Archuria suggests that uh, you connect your device directly to your MacBook or your computer before you do this. This entire process works similarly on Mac and Windows. So the cable is unplugged. Before we plug in that cable, we are going to press octave down and octave up button together. we'll have uh, a sequence of LED colors and then it's set to factory preset. Like it's reset to the factory state. And now we are going to upgrade the firmware. For that, what you need to do is on archuria.com, you want to go to support and then in support, just click on downloads and manuals. Once that page opens, you'll find on the left hand side here in the left side pane Archuria software and hardware is sequenced alphabetically we want to go to Minilab MK2 and MIDI control center you would have MIDI control center installed if you don't just click on it and download and install that package just for safekeeping, you would want to download Minilab MK2's latest firmware and also read about it by downloading the manual. Although you don't need to download the firmware because uh, MIDI Control Center will automatically download it and upgrade it for you. So I have MIDI Control Center on my system. Let's start it. Now it shows all the devices connected to uh, your machine. So I have BeatStep Pro and Minilab MK2. I'm gonna click on Minilab MK2. And here it notifies that I have a firmware revision and uh, I'm going to press on this button. It says my present firmware is this, download latest, download successful. It's a .LED file. Same file is used for Sony iBo robots to configure the lights. Similar files are also used for MIDI uh, parameter and MIDI configuration. Press OK and it says the device is not recognized. If the device is connected to a USB hub, please unplug and plug the hub. I'm not going to unplug the hub. I'm just going to unplug Minilab MK2 and then plug it back once it starts uh, to do a sequence of these lights it's basically like a cycle which tells us that we are in the firmware upgrade mode so all you have to do is press ok and the process will start And the update is done. We have colored lights and uh, we're gonna um, see how to change the colors in the next video. And I will be making more videos um, about Archuria Mini Lab MK2 and uh, Logic Pro X's new Live Loops Grid Mod. And also we'll be looking at uh, some uh, MIDI mapping so that we can control live loops with Archuria uh, Minilab MK2 in a very easy manner. I hope this video helped you. 
Thanks for watching.